You know, they say home is where the heart is. Sounds sweet, right? But it's probably not the case after a year or more of COVID-19. Today on Hot Words in the News, we're talking about revenge travel. Sounds really unpleasant and violent. It's not, don't worry. But here are some terms to listen for in the news. One is all the rage, okay? If something is all the rage, that means it's really popular right now or in style. People, a lot of people are doing it. Um, you might say, Another thing to listen for is pent up demand. Now, if something is pent up, like often our emotions might be pent up, that means we're suppressing our emotions. They haven't found a way to express themselves, okay? So there's a pent up demand to get out and do something. Here's something else to listen for. On the rise, okay, okay, it's increasing, it's getting more popular. The last one to listen for is bucket list. Now, your bucket list is the list of things that you would like to do before you die. Why do we call it a bucket list? Well, one of the phrases we say for die, because there are many, is to kick the bucket. Yes, if someone kicks the bucket, it's kind of a nice or interesting way of saying that they died, okay? So, what's on your bucket list? What would you like to do before you kick the bucket? Um, listen for some of these terms in the news. After a year of staying home due to the pandemic, yes, revenge travel is all the rage this summer. As countries are relaxing their COVID-19 restrictions, people are releasing their pent-up demand for travel. That's understandable. Luxury travel is also on the rise as more people take bucket list trips. All right, well, goodness, it sounds like it could be either really awesome or really crowded. That's all for today's Hot Words in the News.